Hi Cancerians, welcome to your reading once again and if you're visiting my channel for the first time, a very warm welcome. Uh, please remember that these are general readings, so take from them what you can and leave the rest for others. Also, time is fluid and the roles can be reversed. To remember, if you'd like a free reading from me, you can join me on Facebook and Instagram. The link to both of these um, places are down below in the description box. Also, if uh, you'd like a private reading from me, you can uh, send me a mail. You can find the email ID in the in description box again. That's Kavya Jaiswal Psychic Medium uh, for my Insta and Facebook pages. And Kavya Jaiswal9 at gmail.com for my email ID. Let's see what we have in your past energies. And we'll see what's coming forward for you. Cancerians, I feel like um, you had uh, made um, a choice in the past and you kind of keep talking about it to yourself in your head or you keep reviewing that in your head and uh, you keep, you know, you think about it so much or um, you have now started building this web of thoughts in your head with regards to the chain of events that occurred with you in your life in the past or something that you are already coming out of and now you already also see you're cutting these off you're cutting these away from you you're cutting yourself loose from all these people situations and circumstances and kind of like you're having a bit of a trouble trying to approach either new people or new circumstances from a different perspective it's because of your past experiences is what i see let me clarify that we have a page of swords why do we have the page of swords here yeah i i wow cancerians you have been manifesting a new um a new present and a future for yourself and that's what is happening for you right now you have been wanting something and uh, a very strong part of us that uh, of that was to break away from the old ties old bonds old people old situations and now i feel that you're going to um feel a lot lighter in your head and with the knight of cups you're still not sure if that your manifestation is coming to light but yeah you could be having more than one option to step into we also have the four of cups something why why okay wow 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 so with, with the four of cups we have the ten of cups here and I feel like um, you could be in a position where there are suddenly so many options available to you or uh, there you see uh, many people, situations and circumstances just coming in your favor. And that also creates a bit of a confusion. I also kind of feel like you have a lot of things going for you right now in your favor, but there could be just one or two things which are not so much in your favor and you'd know when I'm saying that. And or you know this is someone who's trying to offer you something uh, this could be uh, like a relationship or a business deal or a proposal but you're not ready for that you want something bigger you want it all you want ten of cups you want all kinds of happiness here okay we also have the card of the moon though you may not be coming out with all um, of your plans and all that you want one from this situation or this person right now, I feel you're going to stay in the background. Yeah, you're going to stay in the background and observe if things are actually happening for you uh, in your favor. With the seven of swords, I kind of feel like they are already on the way to you. Good things are already on the way to you. Let's clarify more. I also feel like a beautiful new, new era of uh, you know exciting new opportunities and um, new endeavors has begun for you. And you kind of have this uh, inner sense and knowing where you were coming from a place of um, uh, you know, lack of knowledge, a bit of uncertainty. Here I feel that uh, now in the present moment, you are beginning to feel this shift happening for you. And you are being asked to remain with as original with your ideas as you can because in the present moment, what's coming to you is being given to you through um, the high realms, the intuitive side is very strong for you right now. 
we also have the queen of pentacles what is with this queen of pentacles someone um uh, now queen of when i say queen of pentacles i'm not going to attach any gender to this but uh, someone is um, not giving in to your desires or your demands here and i feel this is a very powerful person i keep getting this person in your reading even in the last one i did get and i feel like they are um out to conquer the world or they want so much more uh for themselves now this is the aspiration now um i also feel that this has got nothing to do with you so the queen of pentacles the nine of swords and the two of wands it's like they are trying to move away from the situation and that could also be giving you um a lot of sleepless nights but this why is the six of wands here i feel like you're trying to arrive at a decision or uh, what is this why is the justice here i i feel like you are trying to make a move here cancerians you're trying to make a move here and uh, this could be a proposal you want to uh, send out or give out to someone um with the page of cups i also feel someone is coming in uh with a proposal for you this could be vice versa i remember i told you someone is thinking about you a lot oh wow so uh, let me show you what i have so we have the page of cups and we have the two of cups so cancerians um i definitely see a new relationship for you in the offing now for those of you who uh, are looking at this reading for um business and work opportunities i definitely see new people and this looks really good so with when i have the page of cups here i feel like this person is definitely very much in tune with their emotions and they come from a very good place like they come from a very very genuine place wow so when i see uh, the card of the chariot i see the two of you moving on with this and there could be a um, positive movement here the two of you could be deciding to give yourselves uh, a chance at this with the wheel of fortune i see a lot of things turning in your favor here can say is this this present that i'm looking at for you so whenever you're looking at this reading this is a timeless reading so whenever you're looking at this reading this has already set in for you and i see the wheel of fortune here it's like an an old an old phase has ended and you were meant to learn from that and i feel that this new opportunity or this new person had to come into your life after a certain few things you had already gone through but now that's happening for you here with the wheel of fortune this is looking like an amazing time for you cancerians i i told you guys see so where well, we have wheel of fortune and we have the card of death so when i said that there is something already ended for you and that was a very important lesson you had to go through to arrive at this stage of wheel of fortune and this new person new new opportunity new business proposals for yourself that had to go so this could come in and that lesson that learning was very important this is happening for you now let me draw some more cards for you so i don't feel you need to remain in the energy of nine of swords for long what's further up for you let's see and i feel like you are now looking for um more stability in your life more stable commitments you are not looking to just waste your time on um any tom dick or harry and um i also feel that uh, you are looking for a lot more meaningfulness to your life and relationships people there has to be a depth uh, to yourself and your interactions with people i feel you're connecting very deeply here cancerians and i feel with this opening of your heart space the eight of pentacles is coming in you are doing amazing in business opportunities at work job whatever you are putting your hand into it's going to reap you amazing rewards why do we have the eight of cups here i wow king of cups so cancer in the uh, this could be you this could be your person here now when we had the page of cups i feel like this relationship could be going from the page of cups to the king of cups and this is looking something really really deep and i also feel like um, why why again do we have why again do we have the eight of cups here 
I feel like uh, someone is um, either try to, trying to uh, walk away from their emotions, not trying to uh, uh, address what they feel or how they feel or waiting for a better time to reveal what's going on with them. I feel like they have a lot of aspirations or they have a lot of um, things going on in their mind, uh, too many things going on in their mind at the same time and this could also point to inner conflicts. With the card of the judgment, oh my god, you guys. With the card of the judgment, I definitely feel like a cycle has come to a close. This could be a person from your past life or um, you have known in the past. Wow. And uh, wait, this, this, wow. So this Eight of Cups situation is relating to the Three of Swords here. And I feel like the inner conflicts they're going through is because of the third party they uh, may be in relationship with or you are in relationship with but there is definitely they're fearing a lot and i feel that this fear or this feeling is uh, arising in both both of you both both the sides i also feel with the card of the star that the two of you would be able to overcome this and see a more spiritual side to this when i say spiritual i definitely feel that there is a lot more deeper something to this that i'm seeing here in the cards with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you could be wanting to give uh, them a little more time or this could be them wanting to give you a little more time so that when the time's right, things proceed from the Page of Cups to uh, the King of Cups stage. Let me draw you some cards from the Fortune deck. Let's see, let's see what's coming up for you from the universe. Please, 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 please give me cards for Cancerans, please. I have death. So in your reading so far, Cancerans, you already have really, um, okay, now can I go here? Uh, you have many major arcana cards. And once again, we have the card of the death. So to have the card of death already twice in your reading, this is a very important message for you that the old karmic cycles have closed. Can you see? All karmic cycles have closed for you and it is a time for new beginnings. Whatever you have been going through in the past is no longer going to hold your, you in a very emotional or a unhappy space. And I kind of feel like this time, this new beginning has already set in for you. Okay. Um, we have the snake spirit here. And this tells me that um, you also need to be careful about uh, people around you. At this time, as you are transitioning, there could be some people still who are not ready to let go of you or won't be uh, um, accepting you in your new form. And you are going to have to use your um, intuitive ability. Some of you watching this may be healers too or psychics or all kinds of people join me here. So thank you for joining me. But I feel that you need to be very careful about... Um, those around you just as the snake does not have ears it depends on the vibrations of the footsteps approaching or you know around it on that same ground where it is it um, pays attention to these vibrations and uh, makes it move so you are being asked to be careful like a snake because these people who are not so much um, for your higher good are very around you i mean like they are around you and your intuitive abilities and your healing powers are going to uh, bring you out of their company i also have the four of swords which is again a card of for healing and i feel uh, here with the snake spirit and um, uh, the four of swords i feel like you need to heal from these people they could be trying to grab a hold on you or trying to be very emotional or try some tactics uh, upon you just to have them by your side or just i'm sorry just to have you by their side um but i feel like with the ace of cups you're going to be pulled out of this just in time there is divine intervention here you're going to be pulled out of this just in time and i feel like there are there's more than one relationship here i'm looking at in your cards so this this is definitely a new relationship happening for you cancerians and the time ahead is looking super at the financial front at the relationship front at the front of your spiritual development, I see a lot of things, a lot of transformations happening deep within you. And this is going to help you rise up and feel the world in a different light, in a new light, in a more beautiful way is what I'm seeing for you, Cancerans. 
let me draw you some um, cards from the spirits let's see what they have to say to you for cancerans please cancerans all right we already have three cards for you so the first card that i have for you from spirit is inspire passion Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired uh, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So Cancerans, if you have been feeling low on life, I feel it's time to give yourself some new goals. Always remember... Um, Okay, a person uh, without an ambition is like a ship without a rudder. No matter where you are in life, it's always, it's always okay, it's always good and it's always uh, alright to set new goals. You know, that's, that's what keeps fueling our purpose to keep going forward, never stop. The other card that we have from the spirit for you is cleanse. Your body, mind and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing concerns. Just as you wash your car, clean the house or tidy your office. Your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional and physical cleansing. I feel you guys have been trying to overlook uh, your health or your emotional aspect. But I also feel with this card appearing from the spirit side, I have been talking about you being emotionally quite drained, not getting enough sleep, not getting enough rest. And um, a death appearing for you in your karmas and your karmic balance cycle here. So I feel that because that's gone, you need to get rid of the debris too. So it's time that you focus on your breath or you go deep inside in meditation and cleanse yourself. Whatever whatever technique suits best to you, for you, go for that. Also, I have another card from the spirit that's, that is for animal kingdom. That says animal kingdom. And the very strange, before I even began this reading, I did ask for guidance for you from the spirit side and this card had popped out. So I put it back in but it's out here again. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual companions since the dawn of time. At this moment, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. Um, few animals that I'm seeing here are butterflies, dove, pigeons, horse, dogs, hare, fishes, uh, elephants, um, eagle, but apart from this, I'm also sensing and very clearly seeing dolphins. Now, dolphins have, uh, in the Atlantean times, they had the tremendous ability to heal. So I feel like um, some of you either could be uh, doing meditations, imagining dolphins around you or swimming with dolphins. Or uh, you could be having their pendants on you. You could be having their tattoos on you. You could be having um, their pictures, posters, paintings, statues. Um, mementos whatever but I see very strongly see dolphins uh, for you I don't know how this is related you would know uh, please comment if you um, get an answer to this um, I'm going to get more cards out from the angels for you let's see what the angels have to say oh lord there's so many please give me a message for cancerans cancer they wouldn't give me um, a smaller number than three so the cards that I have for you here, okay, Cancerans, uh, I have nurture. Archangel Gabriel says, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So as they talk about uh, healing twice already, closing old cycles, beginning something new, a new era of love is a, bringing a deeper emotional healing for you. Kind of like I feel there was a strong hole inside your heart. I don't know for just this lifetime or past how many lifetimes, but this feels really deep and that's that's beginning to heal now. Uh, the other message that I have from angels for you is outdoors. Archangel Jophiel says, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Because if you have been feeling down and out, it's, it's best to go out in the nature and um, just look at green grass, green trees. Uh, beautiful flowers and then there is nothing better than looking at natural colors 
And the third card that I have for you from the spirit is, from the angels is, Archangel Metatron says, focus on your highest priorities. It'll, I will help you get organized and motivated. And I also felt like whatever this is, this message connects to the five of air that I got previously. And it spoke about having made an unwise choice or a decision in the past. And now when you're restructuring your life, you are arriving here to prioritize. You, you need to prioritize what's most important for you and get going with that. So that's what I have for you here, you guys. And don't forget to leave your email in the uh, comment section below if you'd like me to send you a mail. Um, I'm going to do this on uh, Sunday evenings. So I'm going to be picking out uh, two people and uh, sending them email on Sunday evening. So make sure you check out your spam folder. If you get a mail from me, you receive a free reading from me. So until we meet again, bye-bye, take care, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon.